hello guys this is santosh and welcome to tech design so in this tutorial as you can see here we are going to model uh, bevel gear we are using a uh, part modeling workbench so without wasting time let's get started so now what i will do is i'll just uh, go to new file here so i'm going to select a new file <clears throat> here i'm keeping it as a model and i'll just click ok so now it will take you to a 3d workbench so as you can see here it is a datum coordinate system that we have so i'll just go to sketch environment and i'm going to select this k uh, plane and i'll just click ok so now we are going to draw a simple sketch here to get a desired shape so i'm going to go to line and i'll draw one line here <clears throat> so let me give a dimension for this so this dimension is 27.6 okay so let me fit this and keep it here so and now what i will do is i'll just um, you know draw one more line here so from here to here and whatever the dimension for this it is uh, 18.2 okay and there should be a line here which is a construction line so convert it to construction line and i'll just make this point should lie on this okay and now <clears throat> now we need to draw a line which is drawing and touches this point and uh, now whatever the distance we have for this is uh, 45 mm okay so now whatever this point is there it should lie on this whatever the line we have so press c and point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay so whatever that we have drawn now that is sketch is fully constrained and now we also need to do some more things here here so what i'll do is i'll just go to line here and i'll just draw two lines one line and this is another line so there are two lines whatever the con uh, you know, constraint that we developed i will just delete that and now i'll press uh, i will draw one more line so from this point to this point so now um, these two uh, lines whatever there uh, they should be tangent to this uh, perpendicular to this whatever the line we have so press c and make a perpendicularity between these two okay so now <clears throat> we have some distance for this press d and uh, this is 3 mm and this is 2.5 mm <coughs> now the same way uh, from this point as well a line will go to here so let me draw a line from this point to this point okay and then there is a line here uh, which is from this point let me switch off this this and from this point to this point and from this point to okay so let me trim this extra line now this should be tangent to this so same thing we have to do for tangency for this as well so these two should be tangent and make sure that this point should lie on this uh, particular line so point on a curve so this point should be on the on this curve okay so now uh, whatever the sketches we have drawn everything is fully constrained so we don't need to do anything here so this is what we have got so if you want you can just close this uh, profile so by drawing, drawing a line here so this is the line and i'll just trim the extra line <coughs> okay so now let's finish the sketch so this is what the first sketch is all about so now what i'll do is i'll just go to datum plane and i'm going to draw a datum line you know plane on this uh, you know curve so the uh, as you can see here the curve is over here and i just want at the end of this curve so what i'll do is i'll just give the distance as zero and i'll now click okay <coughs> okay so here we got this uh, datum plane so on this datum plane i just wanted to draw a curve or a sketch so i'll just go to sketch here and instead of selecting inferred i want to orient this sketch along uh, as per my requirement so for that what i will do is i'll just go to new plane so this is already explained uh, in our tutorial uh, so please go to sketcher tutorial and check it out 
so now specify the plane so this is my plane which i'm going to specify and now i just wanted to make a sketch origin so sketch origin i'm just going to give as this point okay so now it is asking for horizontal line so this is my horizontal line and i'll just reverse the plane okay now click now you can see here this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis i just click ok <clears throat> so on this particular plane i am just going to draw a sketch here now so i'll just close this so now i wanted to make a you know draw a sketch on this plane now okay so now what i'll do is i'll just draw a line here so this is one line and there is another line here and whatever the center point of these two lines should lie on the same uh, you know vertically aligned and uh, these points should lie on the y-axis so i'm going to give in a y-axis and as well as this point should lie on this x-axis okay so now it is perfect so now uh, whatever the distance that we have between these two lines is 6 mm so let us give that 6 mm here okay and now uh, what i will do is i will just uh, give this distance as 0.5 mm okay uh, sorry guys let me give it as 1 mm and now uh, whatever the, there should be an arc here so i'll just arc, draw an arc so here is an arc so between this to this and the radius is 9 so we can give this 9 radius and the same way i have to do it on the other side either we can do it by manually or we can just create a mirror curve okay so this is mirrored so okay i'll just delete this and i'll draw a curve again so this is 9 mm okay so now we have to provide an um, you know edge blend here so i'll just hit f and uh, here it is 0.3 mm in the same way here as well it is 0.3 mm and whatever the distance we are left here this should be 0.5 okay so let us make this point meet each other okay so now it is done uh, with one auto constraint let us see what is that auto constraint is all about so i'll just switch on this auto constraint and now as you can see here this distance is an auto constraint so let us see this value is 7 mm so hit 7 mm and click ok and this point should lie on this axis okay something is missing here there is something okay there are two curves here i just wanted to delete one curve so as you can see here there are two curves so one line i will just delete this so only this line is required so this is on okay and then this point should be lying on this y-axis okay so now the sketch needs zero constraint so it is nothing but it is fully constrained and we also have this dimension here why okay here as well there are two you know curves so let me delete one curve so you can see here this is one curve and this is one curve so i'll just delete this one and let me keep it as 0.5 mm okay so So now as you can see here our sketch is fully constrained so we can check the dimensions here whatever the arc we have it is uh, 9 mm and then the length distance between two lines is uh, 6 mm and here it is 7 mm length and now it is fully constrained so i'll just finish the sketch 
okay so this is how we can do and now what i'll do is i'll just uh, make an extrude sorry revolve so go to revolve and i'm going to select each and every curve here so this is the revolve you know profile so this is a complete profile and now we need to provide a vector so this vector i'm just going to give now we can see 360 degree and you can just click ok so once this is done uh, what i will do is i will just so now i am going to go to sketch again and on this plane whatever the plane we have here so i will just give finish sorry let us keep it as as it is and now i am going to go into this so here i am going to draw three circles so one circle is of 15 mm and another one is of uh, 20 mm okay it should be concentric okay and then 35 mm okay these three should come over here so press c and point coincide each other so it should be coincide here okay close this now let us let me finish this and now i'm going to do an extrude and uh, i'm going to do the extrude for this uh, circle so i'm going to select this circle and it should be in the opposite direction and it should be removed from the body you can just click ok and the same thing again extrude and i'm now i'm going to select these two with only 4 mm and it should be subtracted and uh, that is why the it should be given in the opposite direction you can just click ok so now we have on this side so what i'll do is i'll just go to sketcher and moment again on this side and i'll just click ok here i'm going to draw two more circles so one with diameter of 20 and another one with the diameter of 48 so select it and now press c and coincide this point to this point now finish the sketch so here as well i just wanted to remove these two you know material here so i'll just give an opposite direction of 4 mm and i'll just click ok so now uh, we have to make this profile so in order to do that profile what i will do is i'll just go to surface and through curves so in through curves what i will do is i'm going to select this curve whatever we have done here So this is the curve now what we have to do is you can just hit whatever the wheel you have in the mouse button so it will take into new list so now in the new list this is the second point so this point is enough the in first section we have to provide this entire section whatever we have selected and the second section will be just this point okay keep this preserve shape on and you can just click ok so now it is done so now what i have to do is i will just make a pattern so go to pattern feature here and through curves whatever through curve we have done this i am just going to pattern so i'll just select this through curve and along the vector y and you can see the count and pitch 24 and the pitch angle is 15 so you can just click ok so once this is done i just wanted to subtract this material so go to subtract and from this body i'm going to subtract this feature pattern feature as well as through curve so it will take some time let us wait and through curves okay so these two should be selected uh, in order to remove the material from uh, body So I'll just click OK. So now, as you can see here, whatever the desired shape that we want for uh, BL gear, so it has been achieved. So now, what I'll do is I'll just uh, hit uh, Control W and hide all the sketches. So these are not required, and even datum plane. So I'll just click OK. And now we need to give some chamfers. So I'll just give chamfer 4 mm as over here. 
as well as over here okay click apply and 0.5 mm of chamfer over here and as or over here okay In the same way i'm going to give chamfer at this position as well okay so this is how uh, uh, we have done this bl gear so hope you enjoyed this tutorial so please if you have any doubts please comment in the section below thank you guys